National spokesperson of the BJP with us, Sri Rajeshekaran, lawyer and political analyst with us. Namaste and Jai Hind, gentlemen. Mr. Rajeshekaran, you believe everything was done? All arrangements were in place? Anand. 15 lakh people Anand. present there. Anand, uh, going by the statement of the Tamil Nadu government uh, agencies or departments and uh, today's statement from uh, uh, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu hmm. and the yesterday's statement of Health Minister Mahas Subramaniam saying that IAF had asked for uh, what all uh, requirements we had fulfilled. Hmm. Now, see, uh, let us be honest in fact. I have always been, say, hmm. more than four decades, I am a resident of Chennai. Hmm. I am 50. Uh, and uh, from my school days, I have been following uh, all these activities as an teenager and adult. I am right. a, a politician and a lawyer, hmm. practicing lawyer in the Madras cycle. Hmm. Let me be honest, see, huh. there have been incidents in the past. See, the same, same number of crowds, huh. agitated, virulent and angered crowd during Jallikattu pro protest. Huh. It was in the same Marina Beach. Huh. And the protesters were going haywire. They were going hammer and tong hitting and attacking every next person uh, possible mm. against the government then. The same police, the same authorities, somehow managed, there was not even a single casualty, and that was peacefully, uh, um, uh, the crowd were dispersed. Mm. Yesterday, it's just the contrast, the opposite of the past. Madras city has faced several uh, uh, crowd uh, pulling uh, events, and this one was definitely asked for. Mm. This was not... Uh, Spontaneous or this was not uh, an unexpected crowd. Correct. The Indian Air Force gave a lot of advertisements. The social media, the uh, FM radios and the satellite TV, the, hmm. the YouTube channels, uh, Twitter, XX platforms, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere there were announcements and advertisements uh, calling, inviting hmm. the common public to join the historic uh, show. And the, the Limca, it is for the Limca Book of World Records. And Correct. yes, I, I welcome it. I welcome it. It was a show being organized by the Indian Air Force, um, uh, uh, facilitated by the state government. And here, very important and pertinent uh, point hmm. to be noted. Hmm. See, I'm not going to blame the chief minister. The chief minister has his own uh, officers and the uh, departments concerned to manage the uh, situations like this. There is Chennai Corporation, uh, Public Works Department, Chennai Police. Sir, and I... Other, uh, yeah, get to no, the point. No, What's the point they want me? me? No, I want to. It is total failure of the government administration. Hmm. It is total failure. Five precious life. My heart goes to the family. My heart deepest condolence to the family. I don't know how many are admitted, how many are discharged. Or is somebody... Uh, so, the total failure state, of the government administration, the, but you will not blame the chief minister. No, no, no. I'm, see, let's so, see, you want sir, to have I, the I cake and eat Madam it. No, so that's but why. You, you have accused Madam Jayalalitha, but you will Chennai not You will not accuse Thiru Stalin. No, no. If, uh, during Chennai floods, during tsunami. No, no, no. no. I have not accused Jayalalitha. That's what I'm try, trying to emphasize here. Hmm. I was blaming only the public works departments and the Chennai corporation for the... Flood fly failure in 2015. Huh. Likewise in tsunami. See, we cannot keep on blaming the chief minister. I, see, I have no love or uh, uh, some attachment towards the chief minister of Tamil Nadu. You can check my tweet also. I have uh, written an open letter to him. Hmm. Sorry. No, so if you have written an open letter to him that you need to take care of the administration, but the uh, but the but the word that has come in from the DMK, the DMK has not taken responsibility. They have said what has happened is unfortunate. They have said that none of the deaths were caused due to the stampede. They have also said that there is nobody in any of the hospitals. They have said that nobody is to blame for the fact that there were no metros. They have said that there was no water available. There was no uh, uh, entry egress point or controlling the crowd. There was no police bandhavas there. That's nobody's that's nobody's fault. Everything. Was was there but things had to happen if something has to go on go they say temples also stampede happens here also stampede happened that's what the tone of the government is and you're saying that's all right Pradeep Bhandari well Anand I believe that the chief minister personally is responsible and the government is personally responsible point number one 
A week back, the IAF had conducted a press conference where the IAF had indicated that they are anticipating a crowd of more than 10 lakh. Did the Chief Minister conduct a meeting with his officials in order to have an SOP? I was listening to you, sir. Please listen to me patiently. Did the Chief Minister conduct a meeting with his uh, respected officials in the police, officials involved in the various departments that how will they manage a crowd of more than 10 lakh? Few days back, Mr. Stalin's son, Udenidhi Stalin, had gone to a Formula 4 event. The police had prepared for it for more than two weeks. Additional police force was deployed. The situation was such, the pressure was such that an ACP had lost his life due to heart attack on duty. If they could do it for, deputy, uh, for the chief minister's son, why could they not do it for the AIIAF? Point number two. Point number three, look at the attitude of the chief minister's party. Mr. Kanimozi in her tweet says that the crowd should not have gone. So they are saying that the crowd should not have gone to the IAF event. Point number four, in 2003 when it happened, when Jalalitha ji was the chief minister, not a single casualty happened. So it is not for the first time that the Chennai is witnessing such a huge crowd. Point number five, please look at the VVIP uh, racism here. Hmm. If Mr. Stalin, Mr. Stalin's son and all the other VVIP dignitaries can have all the respected facilities, whether it is the water bottle, whether it is the medical facility, whether it is police deployment, why was that not followed for the common man? Point number six, this is the NDMA rules, this is the National Disaster Management rules of crowd control. None of it was followed. Point number, if you look at, I'll give you a simple instance. Point number five says that a medical facility should be involved and around 10 kilometers of such a large gathering, the route should be decongested. You hmm. saw that the more than 200 people were, uh, were hospitalized and five people lost their life because hmm. around 10 kilometers the route was not decongested. So what I'm saying is it is an absolute callousness on the part of the state government. Water department comes under the state government, police comes under the state government, management comes under the state government and they are blaming the IAF crowd and temple. This is where, that is where their psyche is. The buck stops with the chief minister. Okay. Mr. Raj Shekran. Anand, the problem with this BJP spokesperson is this. You want to involve every next issue and attribute motives and agendas. Let me be honest. I am straight away accusing the administration failure. I am straight away accusing the DMK spokesperson and their ministers for brazening out with an audacious statement saying that it happened then, it happened here, it happened there. Nonsense. Let me be fair. The problem with BJP, there is... Throughout Tamil Nadu, there is an anti-BJP sentiment uh, with the people. So, DMK is taking advantage because these people talk nonsense on national TV and social media. Mm. You don't know how to handle the situation and use the words. Don't keep taking mileage out of mileage uh, for uh, petty no, what, things. No, no, you no, have Mr. to Raj hit Raj the line on its head. Mr. 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 Raj Shekhar, you are saying everybody... Uh, no, no, one minute. You are saying everybody is at the fault, as, as at fault, but the Chief Minister no, and the Deputy no, no, Chief no, no, Minister no, no, are no. not. The, the Deputy no, Chief no. Minister is present at the event, but they are not at fault. There is phenomenal... No, no, I'm, I'm so, no, 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 he is responsible. So when the record was being attempted, so then what are you? So what are you saying? Just because you have a you have you have a compulsive you have a compulsive confirmation bias that if there is a BJP person sitting, you have to oppose that person and you have to lampoon that person. You're doing it. Then go ahead and take a position that 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 should not be done. No, not like that. What are you trying to say, Mr. Rajkumar? No, no, no. First, you started saying you will not blame Mr. Stalin. Now you're saying that you will blame Mr. Udayji. No, because. So then call then no, then why I are you shirking? You. Why no. are you moving away? If you just because you have you no, got no, a BJP no. person like a, uh, sitting in front of you, you have to make sure that you also lampoon the BJP because that's your compulsive obsession. <laughs> no, are you, stick to the issue. If you are upset, no, no. you should are say you are upset. You if you believe that it should have been are done you better, you say it should be. have been done better. You if you believe, no, I'm Please, just saying. Um, do you agree? Do you agree with a member? Do you agree with a member of the parliament with a with a with a senior leader like Ms. Kanimori saying why did the people go there? Do you agree with a statement like that? When all these days I they wanted people to come. I strongly disagree with Tanimori. Yes, yes, absolutely. They invited. So you strongly they, they disagree. disagree. You str if you strongly disagree, you, if you strongly disagree with everything that uh, they have said, the leaders have said from the ruling disposition, then you have to agree with what the BJP is Somebody making out as a point. But there saw, you are a compulsive saw, opposer, and against? you will not agree with the BJP. I, you will agree. You will agree. You will agree. You will agree about. No, 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 you will no, agree no, with BJP. points which See, I raise. You will say yes. No, the understand. same thing about Pradeep Bandari You will not do it. No, no, and one minute. This is this is this compulsive obsession to to oppose. 
oppose whatever the BJP is proposing or saying that is percolating everywhere else. Why are you deliberately opposing them? Because you are saying, oh, it's my job to no, oppose no, it. No, no, so, no, no. One minute. Pradeep Bhandari, Pradeep, one more minute, Pradeep Bhandari. No, no, one minute, sir. Pradeep Bhandari, the other question is, the BJP has called it, none of the murders or none of the deaths have been proven that it had happened. There was a death due to stampede. People died due to pre-existing medical conditions and because of the situation that erupted there. Isn't it too much of an extreme for the BJP to say this is murder? Uh... Aranji, I have a simple question and I am saying that the Chief Minister is personally responsible for a reason. Look at the responsibility which is there. It's a multi-departmental issue and a multi-departmental issue which is involving the Chennai Police, which is involving the Health Department, which is involving the Chennai Water Supply Department, it is involving the Traffic Department, it is involving various departments. Now please tell me an answer that if an IF or show is happening, an air show is happening like it happened in 2003, could it, it happen without the Chief Minister conducting a single meeting with the multi-departmental authorities, whether with the Police Commissioner, with the, with the required the Health Minister? And if the Chief Minister did not conduct a simple, uh, a single meeting with the required multimodal department, then the Chief Minister definitely shows that he's absolutely apathetic no, no. for 15 lakh gatherings. Administrative lapse is one argument. If the Chief argument. Minister has done, so the, the bucks... Administrative yes. lapse is one argument. Yes. But the other thing is, administrative lapses have happened yes. in other... To, to call it murder... And to say you have deliberately murdered these people, that, that is something that is pushing things to an extreme, isn't it? The, this is a political hyperbole which, Aran is, Aran under, which is not required. Are, have you been are, able to show that there was a stampede that yes, caused the deaths? Are, there is no evidence to show that. There is evidence to show there was Aran a near stampede. But stampede due to de deaths yeah. due to the stampede have not yet been confirmed. Anandji, the simple question is, could the deaths have been prevented had the administration and the chief minister ensured that the following SOPs were followed? That is simple. Had the chief minister, if the chief minister can release that, that he had followed all the SOPs, then we can understand and give the benefit of doubt to the chief minister. But the chief minister and, her, and his administration have not followed the SOPs. They have taken it very lightly. Did they imply the same SOPs like they deployed at the time of the chief minister's son when the chief minister's son had gone to a Formula 4 event? If chief minister's son going to a private event, a Formula 4 event can have multiple security arrangements which only had thousands of people, why could not they have ensured the same level of sincerity, same level of preparedness where common people were going? At one hand, you have a private gathering of the chief minister's son where common people are not going and few thousands are coming. You ensure that nothing happens and you ensure that state-of-the-art things happen. When, but when okay. it comes to the common people, a simple Who, thing whose like job, a space, Whose job, whose space, job is it to make the arrangements? Is it the, is it the Indian Air Force's job to make the arrangements, Mr. Raj Shekharan? No. No, it is the Chennai Corporation, uh, Chennai Police, uh, Chennai Traffic, Chennai Public Works Department, all the departments, revenue department, the Tasada, the collector of Chennai, everybody should have been involved. But there is a big, big lacuna in the whole uh, event. What is that? See, what till one o'clock, police bandabas was there. One o'clock, the police withdrew their bandabas, and the people. Uh, why did the police? Why did? Why, the why did the police withdraw? The why did the police yeah, withdraw I, I, their bandabas? I got a call from a family friend. Why did the police withdraw ah, their bandhavas? Valid point, I'll tell you. The bandhavas arrangement, I'll tell you. Bandhavas arrangement was done till 1 p.m. And they gave an uh, interval, lunch lunch break for one and a half hours. And to reassemble, the police failed. There was no command. This is a failure of police. That's what I'm saying. So who's I'm the, not, home, minister? Who's the home minister? Anybody. Who's the home minister so of Tamil Nadu? Who does the police command? The chief minister of Tamil Nadu. The chief so then, minister. So then who's, so who's responsibility? So, he should so, so he who's should responsibility? Have, no, he's not responsible. He should have to take action. If Jailantha would not have been no, no, there, so he's not responsible. Have the the, the police, you are police, saying the home minister or the police comes under the chief minister depending. of Tamil Nadu. You are saying that the police was not there. That is my the, point. You are saying, you are saying, but you are saying that the police chief minister is not responsible. So far, have you heard a statement from Thiru Stalin? Has he taken any action against any of the police commissioners there? Who are responsible for this Bandubas and this event? Or have you heard measures? Have you hey, heard voices? Have What's you heard voices which say that that perhaps the IAF should have done more? Why did the IAF call so many people? Why did so many people come there? Oh, nobody is injured, nobody is dead uh, because of the stampede. Oh, it's all exaggeration and hyperbole that's been created by the opposition. Who uh, or are you hearing these kind of statements? Has a clarification come from See, the police? Uh, 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 
the person in charge, the police official no, in charge Arad, of Arad, the Bandabas. Arad, Arad, one second, one second. Has, has there been a one suspension second, or show cause notice? I totally sir? agree with the... No, I'll tell you, I, Anand, one second. How many hours Chennai since the metro incident rail happened? Being a Sunday, no, Chennai Metro Rail should have made arrangements for frequency. Who's Increase the frequency. Whose job is it to instruct the Chennai metro rail to, uh, metro rail to ensure that there are more rakes available of and more cars available? Are the, the state government in, authority, in, 20, in 24 hours, how many hours since the stampede happened? The ha, has there been any suspension or any action taken? Has there been any show cause notice that's been served in the last 24 hours? <laughs> nothing, nothing. That's all my point. So, but my, still, my it's point not the chief minister's mistake. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the minister. No, I'm asking you, it's still not the chief minister's mistake. It's not his office uh, should not be held responsible for this at all. See, I, I'm not defending the chief minister. Please understand, don't misunderstand me. I am saying chief minister had instructed the concerned department's authority. But the officers let him down. So he has to act on the uh, officers' misdemeanors. That's no. my point. No. He, has he acted, sir, in 24 hours? What action has been taken? No, Pradeep Bandari, one second, final word. Pradeep Bandari. See, uh, Anandji, again I say, it's simple. It is about the approach of the government. The gov government's approach is special when it comes to Chief Minister's son, Udenidhi Stalin. The uh, government's approach is absolutely apathetic when it comes to an event of an IF air show where more than 10 lakh people are coming. The government would have prepared an SOP, would have had a counter, in a counter would have had a pr plan, plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. Now let me take Rajshekar Ji's argument forward. He's, uh, in the start of the show, show, he was saying that the Chief Minister is not involved. Towards the end of the show, he says that the police is, uh, uh, has to be, uh, you know, is responsible for it. The police comes under the chief minister. If the chief minister directed the police and the police did not act, then please suspend the respected cop. Why haven't you done it? Order an inquiry, find the culprit. If you believe your chief minister is honest, has done all the required uh, uh, things which have to be done, then suspend the cop. Why are you saying that the crowd is responsible? All your statements are saying the temple, it also happens in temples, crowd is responsible, I, I, I the see. IF is there. Why I are you see. shifting the right. goalpost? I, I, I Let's see. Let, let, I consider with him. I consider let, with him. Let, so, so that means that the BJP is not all that bad. You, it sir. can also make the right issues and raise the right <laughs> issues, Mr. Raj Sekharan. Just like, so, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, you that when, when there are civic issues, when there are real issues, you've got to rise beyond politics and ask questions in the interest of the people. You may have your political Absolutely. differences, exactly, Absolutely. but but these are things that cannot be uh, cannot be overlooked. People's lives matter, and there, if you are creating a record, it was for the growth of, uh, for for the glory of Tamil Nadu, Chennai, and Tamilans. Now, if you have yes. let uh, left the people yes. down, and and the whole event, which was supposed to be a record-breaking event, is now marred by this stampede, for who does it? Whose cause does it hurt then, largely? It it, 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 hurts the the it hurts the cause of the country, it hurts the cause of our yes. armed forces, it hurts the cause of Tamil Nadu and it hurts the cause of the political disposition that has been given the mandate to govern the region, so govern the state. So all of these apply. Thank you gentlemen, I've got to move on for the moment. Thank you very, very much Mr. Rajshekran and Pradeep.